Hello, welcome to 21st Century Moses channel. My name is Sammy Ju. Today is day 47 with a 70 days journey to the Bible. If you like this video and want to receive next and more videos, hit the burning bush button right here to subscribe and hit the bell notifications as well so you won't miss a thing. For a better understanding of today's portion and also maximum result, please see the interactive study guide on the description section below and fill out your own answers on a separate sheet as you watch this video. Now get your pen, paper, and most importantly, your Bible. Are you ready for the journey? Let's go! 35. Rechabites obeyed God, but people of Judah and Israel didn't. God will punish them. 36. Baruch wrote Jeremiah's dictation of God's words on a scroll, and he read it in front of people, but the king burned it and didn't repent. 37. Jeremiah was in prison for speaking the truth. He said, O king, you will be given into the hand of the king of Babylon. 38. Zedekiah the king was afraid of Babylon and the Jews who surrendered to Babylon. Jeremiah said, Listen to God, he will protect you. 39. Jeremiah was captured. The king was taken into Babylon. Then Jeremiah was released. God saved and protected those who trusted him. 40. Jeremiah remained in Judah. 41. Ishmael, the grandson of royal family, killed Gedaliah, the one whom the king of Babylon appointed over Judah. 42. So the remnant in Judah became afraid of Babylon. They said, We are small in number. What should we do? God said, Don't be afraid. Remain here. Don't go to Egypt. I will protect you. 43. But arrogant men said to Jeremiah, You are lying. You want us to be destroyed by Babylon. So they disobeyed and went into Egypt. 44. God will punish Jews in Egypt because they worshipped idols. 45. God spoke to Baruch saying, I'm going to bring disaster on all flesh, but I'll give you life to you. 46. God foretold that the king of Babylon will defeat Egypt. God will punish those who depended on Egypt. God also said, O Jacob, my servant, do not fear, for I am with you. For I will make a full end of all of the nations where I have driven you. Yet I will not make a full end of you. But I will correct you properly and by no means leave you unpunished. 47-49 through God will punish and destroy the nations who are proud of themselves. 50. God will punish Babylon and bring Israel back to the land as the good shepherd. 51. Flee from the midst of Babylon. Each of you save his life. This is the Lord's time of vengeance. For Israel. Now, do you see Christ in today's passages? In today's passage, we learned that God is going to destroy Babylon to punish for their sins, but also to save Israel from there. God's plan is not to leave them there forever, but to bring them back to the promised land. God used Babylon for 70 years to punish Judah's sin, but it did not mean God endorsed Babylon as a kingdom. Just like Exodus, God will punish Babylon, the strong nation, for her own sins. Now, what does this have to do with Christ Jesus? Jesus came as the Savior. He died on the cross to forgive our sins, and He rose from the dead to give us eternal life. But ultimately, He saves us from the bondage of sin and death. Church is people who are saved from the bondage of sin and death by Christ Jesus. Sin and death are like Babylon. They are stronger than anyone in the world, and everyone is under their authority. But Jesus conquered death through his resurrection and subdued the power of sin through the forgiveness by his perfect sacrifice on the cross. So how should we live? 1 Peter 2.9 says it well, But you are chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession so that you may proclaim the excellencies of Him who has called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. Yes, God saved us from spiritual Babylon to light. What we are to do is to proclaim His glory wherever we go. Imagine Jewish people coming back to their homeland after 70 years of being in bondage of Babylon. There must be a great joy and celebration, and the nations would glorify God for that. Our salvation is much more than that. It is not salvation from 70 years of bondage. It is salvation from eternal bondage of hell. How much more joy and celebration we are to have. 
So rejoice over the salvation he has given you through Jesus Christ and proclaim his excellencies wherever you go. So what do you think? Please share your points of applications with us. Did you fill out the blanks in today's study guide? Answer keys for today's session will be in the next video, so check it out. The answers from the last videos are hands, break, surrender, messianic, cup, false, lies, rebellion, confinement. Thank you so much for finishing watching this video. This is just a summary of the chapters, of chapters, so please read the actual Bible and read chapters assigned for today. After you read today's portion, find the 70 days reading log in the description section below and put your unique icon or emoji in the day 47 box. Also, if you have any questions, prayer requests, and thoughts to share after reading today's portion or watching this video, feel free to leave your comments here. Thank you so much again and see you tomorrow for the next amazing 17 chapters.